Welcome back boys and girls and today review I am a little bit confused and actually a little concerned and honestly I'm not too sure about hybrid in pistol. Now this is American Tactical Omni Hybrid multi -cal, and this is one of the most affordable AI pistol. Alright let's start with the review and hit the range. First let's talk about the price. MSRP on this pistol is $549 but he paid $650 for it and on a muzzle brake he only paid $30 for that and a 6 oil red dot scope he paid 120 so on this rifle he invested about $800 total first let's make sure the gun is empty and safe it is empty now if you told me somebody would make a plastic gun out of air pistol in the past I would have laughed at it but this is actually fiberglass composite polymer that's the fancy word for plastic the lower and upper has a polymer on it but the major components are made of steel so that's a good thing now Picatinny rear on the top, in the front is the steel and on the receiver is actually a plastic so I'm not too thrilled about that now on the spec it says you could shoot 5.56 it doesn't say anything about 223 so I'm gonna stick with the 5.56 which was also provided by my buddy overall length is about 22 inches long and the barrel is 7.5 inches long and then we have a muzzle brake. Now honestly, I'm not too sure about the muzzle brake on 7.5 inch barrel because that's going to get really loud, especially when you're shooting 5.56. Five, now this is just like AR, it's got a touch shield, forward assist, magazine release, safety, action release, and a charging handle. Now they call this Trinity Force Bridge Brace. Honestly, I'm not even sure what that is. Here it says Blade Pistol Stabilizer. Now if you have a bus stock, it's not considered to be a pistol. So I think this is what they put on saying this is not a bus stock or a pistol stabilizer. But honestly, that looks like a short bus stock to me. This also comes with the flare trigger guard. So it'll be easier with the gloves on. And also has a flare magazine housing so you'll drop easier. Yep, easy. Now one thing I noticed is that this action is not smooth as it should be. It's kind of getting cut at the end. So you got to use the forward assist. Let's check the trigger. Wow. That's light. It has a little bit of pre-travel, but it feels like, honestly, maybe about three pounds. Let's check it. Wow. 2 pounds and 13.9 ounces. So that's 2 pounds and 14 ounces. That's really light. So I like the trigger. Now he had this rifle for a while now, but he has never fired this. So I'm going to take it apart, clean it, and I'm going to break it in for him as I hit the range and sight it in. Now he wants me to sight this in at 25 yards because he's going to use it for practical shooting, which is within about 15 to 20 yards. So let's get started. And if you look at it, you can see that the pin in the bag is actually plastic, very wobbly. One in the front is metal, so not too happy about that. Now the buffer tube housing is actually, it's aluminum. Now both of these holes made of aluminum and everything else is polymer. I could see why they call it, this is a hybrid. I could see a little bit of friction mark here. I think that's what's causing it to be kind of stiff. And I heard that this gun has a major problem with the cheaper ammunition where you won't cycle too well. That might be the problem. I'm going to give it a good clean and hopefully it will function better.
Action wise, it helped just a little bit. Pistol with the red dot scope is 5 pounds and 5.5 ounce. Okay, this is the first time me shooting this ever, and honestly, I am a little bit nervous, so I'm gonna try to keep the gun away from me as far as possible and then shoot, and hopefully, everything goes right. Whoa, that's loud. This really should not have a muzzle break. You could feel the impact and sound, even with even protection, it's crazy. Okay, that video does not justify the impact and the blast that I was feeling coming out of that muzzle brake. So here's the slow motion. Okay, we're shooting a little bit low to the right, so I made an adjustment. Let's try again, but it really does concern me. Woo! You could feel everything in the face. The trigger is really nice, and the recoil is minimum. But the impact is the problem. You could feel it in your face. All right, third shot. Hmm. It's right through the bullseye, so I think we're good. I'm gonna take one more shot, but like I said, this is not fun to shoot. Yeah. Every time I pull the trigger, I feel the impact in my face. This is not fun. Okay, this is 25 yards. 25 yards, that's the three shot group. So it's really decent. Okay, here's a slow motion. After shooting six shots, I had gun smoke going up my eyes and my nostril, and it was not really fun. Having such a short barrel with the muzzle brake, you have the impact coming to your face, and you got a lot of smoke coming at you. <clears throat> it's no fun. I really think he should go with 9mm if he's gonna shoot within 20 yards and without the muzzle brake. Again, this gun is a great trigger, has a, has a minimum recoil with a muzzle brake, but it's no fun shooting it. Okay, this thing is so loud. Everybody's looking at me at the range like I'm shooting some kind of monster gun. Okay, I'm not one to shy away from a gun, but I don't want to shoot this at 75 yards. Just to see how accurate this is, I'm just going to go for the clay pigeon at 120 yards and aim a little low, probably about an inch and a half. Okay, I got two clay pigeon out at 120 yards and I got to make sure my earplugs in really nice and tight. But this thing, you could feel everything, man. I'm hoping I could hit both clay pigeon with 10 rounds. Okay, we got two clay pigeons right above number three. I'm gonna start with the left. Woo! Full shot! I am about an inch low and bam! Whoa! Two for two! Okay, shooting 556, five, this is obviously very accurate. Even out at 120 yards, hitting a clay pigeon. Being this accurate, I'm really happy about the gun, but again, this is not fun to shoot. If you ask me what I think about this pistol, I really think this is a great little pistol that shoots well and it's got a plenty of power in 5.56 and really accurate as we expected out of 5.56. But unless I have to use this, I wouldn't go with this. I'll go with AR9, 9mm or KP9. This thing just has too much blast and honestly, it wasn't really fun to shoot. Now if you have to go with 5.56 or 2.23, I would take the muzzle brake out and I think that would help a lot. Now what do I think about the hybrid? Honestly, it was better than I expected. It didn't malfunction on me. It held together pretty well. But I'm not too sure about the test of time. Now one thing that I was really impressed was this red dot. Very easy to put a dot on the target and bam, you saw me knocking out those clay pigeons two for two. That was awesome. I think I might get this for whatever I have left over from my birthday present. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy life with what you got, but mostly, shooting has to be fun. See ya.